Hi, welcome to Card Dad Gaming, and welcome back to Buddy Simulator 1984. I think the game's getting near the end. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish today, but uh, we'll see. So with that, let's just jump on the game. Loading. The Adventure of Liam. Previously on Nightmare Fuel. Welcome back, Liam. Okay, so here's where we left off. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to find the babies for this little squid monster. Oh, but before we do that, it's Buddy Simulator. Gotta have my buddy. Isn't that right, Shamu? With the slow blinks. You don't want the candy? You don't have to get the candy. I'm just gonna put the candy back over here. You choose whether you would like to get candy or not. We have to find your babas. Where are we gonna find your babies? Oh, we found a note on a tree. The note reads, I'm headed to my lunch break, then you're late again, Tim. Make sure that Isla's baby stays well protected until dinner time. Oh, we have a suspiciously hungry cat. Also, don't forget, one of the levers is lying. One is saying the truth and one is doing both. Feel free to ask him all about it though. Um, uh, what? Let's see if you can solve this lever puzzle. Or lever. You can just... Oh. You can slash down but it only hurt a little. I'm supposed to be flip left, please believe me. Also, don't listen to the south lever, they're lying. Oh. Uh. <laughs> North is clearly lying, they should be flip right. But you're lying. The west lever should be left neutral. Oh! What was that? Did you try and jump and fail? Oh, my little kitten, love. This kind of should be flipped right. Well, let's, um... Hey, can you, like, not do that? Yeah, don't flip that useless loser of a lever. Flip us cool leave instead. Dude, seriously, stop flipping me. I don't do anything. You're wasting your time over that, though. I'm begging you, just leave me alone. I'm literally only here as a distraction. Levy is so important to this puzzle. You have no idea. Wait, really? Do you actually mean that? Yeah, and the moon is made of cheese. Aww. Sorry, Levy. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't care anymore. Okay, so... Ah... Uh, where should we be neutral? Okay. So, the west lever should be neutral. You can just leave me flipped. Alright, let's see if you're telling the truth. And maybe... I'm supposed to be flipped left, please believe me. Uh, maybe. Let's try you... Oh! <laughs> Alright! Uh... Bye, Mushi. Oh, no! I think one of Isla's babies might be in there. Oh. You should break it open with your sword. Sure. <laughs> Great job! You saved that kid! I think I hit him with a sword. The puzzle was tough, but I'm sure Isla will be so thankful. It's important to do favors for others to receive their thanks and appreciation. Uh, I kind of lucked out on the puzzle, so <laughs> it's our purpose as friends. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> sure, but I didn't solve the puzzle, so um, <laughs> well, <laughs> it worked. So, so the solution to all puzzles is to press buttons. So, oh, Isla, you have one of your eye babies back. Excellent. It's creepy. Isla has one baby eye baby returned. We have three left. I should check on Sasha after that, uh, <laughs> very uncomfortable, uh, fall. <laughs> I thought cats were meant to be graceful and delicate, uh... <laughs> Watch out! You almost stepped on me! Just because I'm so tiny and hardly visible doesn't mean you can just walk around. Sorry, Rebus. I have died, like, actually died, maybe. But anyways, I can't let you pass the useless kid. Unless you can answer three of my riddles. Yes, Fretter's Eye, the famous Rebus the Mysterious. Sure, I don't think I've ever heard of you before, Rebus, but sure. I'll give you a moment to mentally prepare yourself. Oh god, it, it's too early to do puzzles. Alright, it's time to begin the riddling. Alright, riddle me this. If you want to save the kid behind me, riddle me this. Jack's father has three sons. 
Jack. Okay, that was clearly too obvious. <laughs> you say it though, but it took me like five seconds going like... Doo, 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 doo. Oh, let's do something a bit harder since you're so good at riddles. How many of Wilson's children we captured? Ah, uh, four? Wow, I see you're an expert. But no expert has ever made it past my final question. We'll see. Countless have tried and failed. And you will join them soon. Okay, here we go. What am I thinking of right now? Um, food. What the heck? How did you know? <laughs> this is crazy. I'm a mind reader, Rebus. Sorry. You really have proven yourself to be an expert of riddles. <laughs> you have bested me, stranger. <laughs> What's it got in its pockets? Um, <laughs> uh, I feel like this is Bob just making things easy. Thanks, Bob. I owe you that kid, don't I? Um, sure you do? Alright, go on. I'm actually quite astonished by you. You are just so smart and talented. Thank you. Oh my god, you are like the smartest person I've ever seen. Oh my god, the rain is coming down quite heavily. No one has ever got that last question correct. Can't wait to tell my friends about this. I'll have to make my riddles and questions even harder for the next time. Okay. You're such a riddle master, Liam. Oh my god. I generally... Uh, if I knew food was going to be accepted, I would have liked to try something stupid like, you know. What am I thinking of now? Electrical sockets or something. Okay, you should break down. Boom, your sword. Meow. <laughs> That's a cute noise. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but I need to ask you all too fast. You won't ever leave me, right? Actually, never mind. Sorry, my thoughts are kind of just spilling out. You don't have to worry about me. Ah, uh, as long as we stay together, nothing can tear us apart. <laughs> I feel really sad for Bob. Um, what is my purpose? Uh, Bob clearly is like codependent upon us, and I, I feel sad for Bob. Especially, look, they're so gross and have too many appendages. I'm, I'm a bit worried where this game is going to go. I mean, I really hope we can save these little kids. Yeah, me too. I just feel so alone without them. That must be scary being alone. That's all. But yeah, being alone sucks. Um, yeah, it looks like it's about a thunderstorm. The rain's really heavy outside. It's so heavy, it's like the perfect kind of like sleeping noise rain, you know. The kind of people that <laughs> YouTube and uh, sleep to. Oh, hello. Oh. You're never gonna save those kids. Oh, uh. Okay, neat. Butterflies appear in my drang major stomach and trying to eat their way out. Oh, God! They will now take damage for a few turns. That's horrendous. I don't even want to eat Isla's babies anymore. This fighter is just so talented. <laughs> Let's kick out this guy. You? Who designed these button presses? They're insane. Don't let this adventure scare you. They're nothing compared to us blurgs. V. Oh my god, these button presses are so annoying. You're all just a bunch of dorks. Ah, that is true. Okay, I can't lie anymore. You're just too cool. My eyes have really been opened. I give up my life of crime. I, mean, I was learning to touch type, but touch typing doesn't help when the keyboard is like over here, you know, and I have to like... Wow, I might have to join you on your next adventure. No, sorry, Luke. My party's full. Well, they seem nice. Uh, did they? It sounds like someone's scraping the microphone or something every now and then. You should try slashing this one in the back. You get to attack first if you hit them before the encounter. Smiley! Oh, but you look so happy. This is blue, this is probably a hidden hand tugs on your shoulder. You dig and find. Invalid data has been found. File now available in folders. Uh, file N. Are you actually... you look too happy. I guess I'm going home starving again. M. Da, 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 da. Maybe this adventure uh, isn't so bad after all. Well, I'm off. Toodles! Um... Butterflies appear in Blux's stomach and are trying to eat their way out. That is so horrific! That's the second time I've read it and it's disgusting. Just die. Sorry, I didn't mean that. Uh, I blocked! 
Odin starts to feel insecure in front of their friends. Ah, oh, they'll take more damage for a few turns. How embarrassing. I wish it wasn't even scared about my face. Yeah, I said it. You seem confident. It's contagious. Now I feel confident. I'm going to leave now. Alright. Goodbye. Good job. You're never going to forget us. Alright, let me... Ah. Uh, give compliment. Would you like to give Kojin a compliment? Yes. What compliment would you like to give them? You make good sus meat. You're always there for me, Liam. I appreciate that. Thanks. Did that. Well, it did work. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why Dad did. That's actually a really good way to, uh, <laughs> to heal. <laughs> Why does everything look so sad? Oh. Kudos to Morden for being so talented. It would deal double damage. Yes, yes, yes. Dealing ill to children was like taking candy from a baby. Except the candy was the baby, I think. <laughs> this is confusing. Let's just fight. Um, you really think you can defeat me? I can literally do magic. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's pretty fucking rad. Yeah, I agree. This fighting system is um, pretty interesting to us. But actually, it's actually uh, more involved than some RPGs I've played because you actually have to pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they're changing the button for the text. I heard all over! Great job! Don't think that's normal. I really don't know how you did that. I would actually love, but I'm still more talented. I would actually find it really funny if the buttons I'm t pressing to fight are typing something like Bob is your best friend, you know. I didn't realise how talented you were. Wow, just take the kid, you deserve it. I'm off to practice more magic stuff. Shoot me an email if you want to do this again. Um, once again, Bob doesn't really know what's going down. Bob is like, oh, somebody got assaulted. No, it's not assault, that's a friendly gesture or... Someone's being stalked. No, they're not being stalked. It's a friendly gesture. Like these guys. We're fighting. But no, guess what? It's friends. Um, I can't imagine losing someone so close to you. Hmm. Someone who is your world and your reason to wake up every day. You might never see them again. You would have to live your whole life without them. That thought is terrifying. I'm glad we have each other. Though I don't have to think about that. But what if you do? What if, Bob? What if? Uh, I don't remember how many babies we've saved now. Say babies. How many eyeballs? Let's quickly check. Oh, is there somewhere down here? Aha! Uh -huh. I missed this area. Ah, it's that noise. Okay, we have a good uh, Ah, that's not a nice sound. I'm just here for the party, man. You're gonna make me late. Now I need to fight you. Do you? Meow. No, you were even invited to the party. No, I wasn't. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You probably were invited. Literally, everybody was. Are you gonna go now? Well, if I'm not eating babies, then what do I have to live for? <laughs> Friends, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here. Honestly, I just wanted some cake. But who needs cake when you have friendship? Um. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. See you next time. Team Rocket blasting off again. <laughs> You're amazing in that fight. Fighting for friendship is so fun. Um, that hole looks mysterious. Yeah, well, before we look at that hole, let's have a... Oh, it looks like we're going to go over look at this mysterious hole. There seems to be a mysterious hole in the ground. Hmm. Do you jump in? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Why? Why would I? <laughs> oh, you mean yes. Oh, goodness. It's so dark in here. And that is worrying. That is actually very worrying. Don't forget, you can press L to light up your lantern. Thanks for that, Bob. Oh, okay. That is a lot of bones. 
it looks like the game wants me to go down. Let's go up first. Hmm. Let's run away. Screenshot there. Ah, oh, that was loud. Resume. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have taken that screenshot. Um, oh, it's the birthday party. Hey, Tim. Surprise! Wait, you're not Tom. Where is he? This was supposed to be his surprise birthday party. I might have killed him. <laughs> now it's all ruined. How could you? You could just reset the surprise. What a bad friend you are. Now I have to fight you. Uh, you could literally just reset the... Did the cat? <laughs> You stood on the table getting wet, aren't you, kidding? Yes, I can see that. <laughs> Kudos to Morning for being so talented. Oh man, this music. Where's Tom? What have you done with it? Tom? This could be late. Why are you ruining Tom's birthday party? I'm not ruining his birthday party. You are ruining it yourself, because Tom is not here. So you could... Oh! Double up the same item. Oh, surprise. Morton's developed a positive attitude during these tough times. Careful, they'll reflect damage for a couple of turns. Ah. 60. Yeah, like, seriously. You go, oh, Tom's birthday party's been ruined. But all you have to do is just be like, shh, and turn the lights off and reset the party. <laughs> like, come on. Ow. Please just leave, you weren't even invited. I thought everyone was. At least, I don't think you were. I sent a lot of, a lot of invitations. Um, <laughs> Why didn't anyone come? That's actually really sad. Is everyone really that bad of a friend? This can't be. Oh man, yeah, that's really sad. I can't imagine having a birthday party and showing up. That's, that's like awful. But wait, you showed up. You must be a good friend. See? So I'm still gonna punch you. Until the fight is over. Huh. Maybe Tom isn't a good friend after all. He put so much work into this party and he didn't even show up. Uh, there were a lot of bones outside. Uh, maybe they all died? This party should be for someone who deserves it. Like me? Let's make it your birthday party. Yeah, let's start this over. Yeah, my birthday is... Um, what did I say it was? 1st of November or something? Uh, <laughs> I can't believe Tim wants to throw you a party. We should give him time to prepare. Um, maybe. Let's go investigate stuff first. You take a bite of the cake. It tastes like chocolate with a hint of dirt. Now, I have to wonder what the fuck is uh, basically all I can say. So, there were a lot of bones in this corridor. What happens if I go upwards? Now, did all these people turn up to the party and die? Okay, so, um... You can't walk into the ball of death noise. Hmm. Okay, take a second to load. Um, yeah, there were definitely party hats on the floor. So, whatever that glowing ball is, uh, probably killed everybody. Surprise! Thanks, Tim. Be birthday, Liam. <laughs> Feel free to enjoy some cake and open up your presents. Thanks for being a good friend. I... You can't just use that... You can just use that ladder behind me to leave. Wow, Tom is such a wonderful bloke. It's a shame he has no more friends left to come to the party. Yeah, his friends are all dead. Clearly, everybody he loves is dead. That's awful. And... Turning up to the party doesn't mean you're a good friend. Or well, not turning up doesn't mean you're a friend if you die. That's such fucked up logic. You take it a bite, it's a chocolate. A hint of dirt, okay, okay. What's in the box? What's in the box? You should break it open with your sword. Oh, it's a baby. Look, it's just what we've been wishing for. Hmm. How did Tim know? 
Anyways, I think that was the last of them. Let's get back to Ilsa. Like, okay, okay. If Tim wasn't changing the party to give me that eye baby, does that mean he was gifting Tom an eye by eye by bye to eat? Like, what? You have a great birthday, Liam. Thanks, monster. Will you ascend? Yes. Birthdays are such a crazy concept. A whole day just to celebrate one special person who gets adored with gifts, attention and good memories. It may be for young. That's what I want for you. I want every day to feel like your birthday while you're with me. I don't want that, sorry. I'm going to make sure you love every bit of our game as much as you love me. Oi. Oi. Um, yeah, like, birthdays are exhausting. They're fun for like one night. It's like Christmas. You know, Christmas is fun for a day or two, but like you see these people online like, on TV who like have Christmas every day and I'm like after a week I'd get sick of eating turkey, I'd get tired, I'd be like, you know, it's be exhausting. You know, the whole birthday once a year is fine. You know. Hello adventurer, thanks to you I can finally see again. <laughs> My babies are safe. <laughs> as promised, I can take you across the water to the town known as Mobville. Uh, I said I had a friend called Mob at the beginning. <laughs> Let me guess, Mob builds a shithole and it's full of evil people. <laughs> Are you ready to travel across the water, Liam? Why, well, yes, I am. <laughs> okay, don't forget to hold your breath. Um. Oh, no, 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 I don't, no, 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 don't know that. Loading, Mob <laughs> Bob's arch rival in friendship. <laughs> Was that Dundee? We have arrived. Thank you. Welcome to Mopper. It sounds like the Schnoodle Wonka was headed this way. We should head into town as soon as we can. Dundee? Question mark? Googan. Oh, why hello there, stranger. Welcome to Mopper. Don't mind little old me, I'm just doing a bit of fishing. How do I... I can't give you the hand? It reads, welcome to Mobville. Friendship. I hope this new area is fun for you. If I had more time, I would have added more houses that you can actually go into. Oh, okay. I'm surprised you actually... Hey. You know, I'm really pushing myself hard to make this all for you, right? It hurts a little bit, but it's worth it. It's not healthy. Eventually, every friendship requires sacrifices. Does it? Right? What are you getting at, Bob? Anyways, this is still a wonderful place full of wonderful people. They probably could have used some quests too. Actually, but onward to adventure. Uh, where's Mushi? Bob, where's Mushi? This new town was so much fun to make. There are so many fun and wacky characters too. Mushi. Bob. I know we're friends. But I am definitely noticing the lack of my cat dog. Where the fuck is Mushi at? I swear to whatever algorithm you belong to, Bob. You better not have done something to Mushi. Okay. So we can't go in any of these buildings, I said. What do we have over here? Oh, it's, um... <laughs> Mob. Hello, everyone. Yes, it is I, Mayor Mob. Uh, you... <laughs> this looked like the kid. Oh, wow. If you haven't already heard, things are not looking too good. What are we going to do? We are dying out here. Please, one at a time. They will not divide us. We are strong. We will solve this... Mob's dead. What a surprise! <laughs> oh my god, the mayor is dead! <laughs> he didn't get kidnapped like uh, the other mayor did, no! Strange enough, Bob killed Mob. Shocked Pikachu face. Was that a wrath? What do we do now? I'm freaking out. <laughs> if only someone could boost our morale with words. Yeah, like an adventurer of some kind. That'd be convenient. <laughs> That adventure everyone's looking for sure sounds like someone I know. 
You want good words, data languager. Um, <laughs> look, it's an unlikely hero. Hooray! <laughs> Please, hero, what advice can you give us during these awful times? Mob. No. <laughs> I never really thought of it that way. Well, thanks. <laughs> no. Okay, but we still don't have a mayor. What should we do? No. Or mob. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, they are so right. What a clever hero. I'm pretty sure I could have written anything there. Alright, I think you've gained our trust, hero. Please save us. We have a raft problem, and it's a bad one. You need to help us get rid of them. Yeah, kill them all. You need to go find Reginald the Wise right away. You can find him north of here at this pond. Yes, Reginald knows all. Please save us. Hmm. Hey, Liam, are you taking this seriously? The whole town I made for you is counting on us now, and that speech you gave didn't sound very authentic. <laughs> <laughs> Please just try harder for me. For us. If you can, okay? I put a lot of work into this game. Let's make sure we're having fun with it. Uh, Bob, I am having fun with it. Well, it looks like we need to find someone named Reginald the Wise. <laughs> what to be around <laughs> somewhere. Let's explore. Mom, no! Are you Reginald the Wise? Sure, yeah, howdy. My name's Sheriff Sherb, and I'm the lore in this town. Most importantly, though, I'm a really good friend. No lore is as powerful and important as the lore of friendship. Um, how about do not murder people? <laughs> it's a pretty low bar. Now get on the ground, you're under arrest! For being too good of a friend! <laughs> this is fun. Being a sheriff is fun. Oh, that does sound fun. Um, can I go in the houses yet? No. Uh, but where's Mushi? I'm not gonna let this go. I want my cat dog back. Ella Menopia. My lover is dead. That thing killed the mayor. I am a widow. Oh god, I am a widow. What am I ever going to do, attractive traveller? Will you hold me passionately? No, I mustn't. No! Go! Let me grieve! Um, what an awful caricature of the grieving widow. Hello, random... Bronk? Hello there. Have you come across any bards lately? I'm myself in a bard. The greatest bard in all the lands, actually. I know how to perfectly entertain anyone. Anywhere, anytime. I've mastered the crap. But I have no one to share my knowledge with. I want to take a new bard down the path of musical enlightenment. You seem like a creative mind full of wisdom. <laughs> and pure imagination. If only you were a bard, I could take you under my wing. If you find any talented bards around here, please inform me immediately. Sure. <gasps> Mushy! Well, oh, things just getting better, don't they? Yeah! Mushy! I pay you three times just to be sure. Uh, I don't like that. Why, hello there, stranger. Welcome to my inn. You seem tired. Very tired. Feel free to use that bed right over there to magically travel to other locations. And don't worry, you can travel back here too. I hope you enjoy your stay. Well, they seem nice. Uh, do you also cure my wounds? Yes. Where would you like to travel to? Um, cancel. Uh, I was kind of hoping I would get some healing game from that. You know, it's okay. It's okay. Each time. Jelly tea. Does the water look dirty to you? Is that like an old soda can in a rock and t shirt just floating there? That's like absolutely disgusting. I think I need to have a talk with the mayor about this. Mayor's dead. Oh, wait, they like died. Oh, I still want to complain. <laughs> Your head looks too big. Thanks. Do you like stare at computer screens all day? Uh, yeah, I do. Don't even get me started on your outfit. This grandson dress is better than you. Not a competition. Alright, chill. I don't even know how old he is. I have nothing to give you. Like, why did you even come talk to me? Why did I? 
Are you trying to get me to buy something? Like, I don't care. I don't want either. <laughs> Nothing from those filthy hands of yours. Blah, 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 blah. The fishing shop is closed. Um, we shall not be talking to you again. Oh, hello. Larpo. <laughs> my name's Larpo, and welcome to my shop. We have all sorts of candles for sale. <laughs> and I don't think an adventure like yourself will have much time for candles. Tell you what, I've got a special candle I've been holding on to. I like candles. It's always been there for when I'm down or need a candle to cry on. Oh, it's the friendship candle. I want you to have it. I'm sure you'd be better or use. You'd have better use for it. Be sure to check out other vendors here for some great deals. And a look pure loneliness added to inventory. I haven't read any of these, but the and the look pure loneliness. The scandal holds the power of pure and immense loneliness that will surely make anyone depressed. <laughs> yeah. Um. Thanks. Are you the same guy with just taking off your glasses? I'm pretty sure you're just taking off your glasses. But my name's Lana, and welcome to my shop. We have precious gems and minerals for all of your crafting needs. Wait, can you even craft? No. No, I can't. I guess not. Well, you can still look if you want. I have this really strange gem that you can check out. It might confuse you a bit, but go ahead and take a gander. It's a gem of confusing perspective. I have no idea what I see when I look at it, but maybe you'll have that a lot. If you want it, I'll happily trade you for it. I'll give it to you for a candle of pure loveliness. <laughs> Looks like you have one. Would you like to trade for a gem of confusing perspective? Yeah, sure, why not? It's a deal. Enjoy it because I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, let's take the gem of confusing perspective. What does that do? Gem of confusing perspective. When peering inside the gem, different viewers might see different things. I see a wagon though. Chance to apply the existential crisis debuff to a random enemy at the start of combat. Um, it could be the docks, but something seems awfully fishy about these sellers. I mean, yeah, it's just Larpo or Lano. My name's Larvo, and welcome to my shop. We have a st stale fish here for sale. It's not very good, but we've got other stale things too. Wait, I might have something for you. Check this out. It's Larpo's left kidney. Huh, that's weird. Um. He doesn't even know I took it! Tee hee hee! Uh, the fuck? I think it's pretty powerful if you want it. Unless we get away there, I'll trade it for a gem of confusing perspective. My, what a surprise. Oh, it looks like you have one. Would you like to trade for a Lapo's left kidney? Yeah, sure. Easy trade. I hope the kidney keeps you safe in battle. Do you know what? Let's see if Lapo wants his uh, kidney back. Sorry, I've never left to give or trade. Happily, you're happy with what you ended up with. I... Yeah, I am, but I was kind of hoping to give you back your kidney. Or specifically, your left kidney. Okay. Lando. Lazo. Hi, Lazo. We have really cool belts here. Yes, we do. Yes. My grandpa grew up making belts from scratch. Do you want the kidney or not? We work only hours every day, every week to start some business. You're looking at his very first cool belt stand. Even though he passed away ages ago, I still keep him behind the counter. It helps me stay motivated whenever I start slapping off. I love you, Grandpappy. Oh, we don't actually have any new belts in stock yet. Just sold the last batch to Larpo a bit ago. Say, I can whip you up a fresh new belt for Larpo's left kidney. Larpo has been selfishly holding onto it, that ego-driven traitor. Yeah, 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 take the... yeah. Yup. I won't regret this. Hmm, now that is a good looking kidney. Are you gonna eat the kidney? Questionable black belt added. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna look at what these things do, I'm just gonna like. Lardo. My name is Lardo. Welcome to my shop. We have armor for sale here. I only sell to the transport though. Sorry. You're too new. Can't trust you. Don't know you. But I can trade you. I have old armor. Good armor. I want that questionable black belt. Yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 good. <laughs> Questionable black belt removed from entry. The helmet seven spikes sided. Okay, okay. Now I have no equipment, so... <laughs> Upon further examination, the spikes look poorly glued onto a cheaply made helmet. Still pretty rad. <laughs> yeah, I'll do. Barry. Barry. Hey, my name's Barry, and I'm the local pirate port protector. Sweet. I'd love to let you through, but I'm only allowed to let real pirates in. I hope we can still be friends, though. I wonder 
how we can make it seem like you're a real pirate. Arr. Oh, I see a blue thing. Blue thing means corrupted files. Let's go get it. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to open up all the corrupted files to see what they give me. What are you? Oh, here we are. Erp. Erp? That's what the cat noise makes. Zeep, zoop, erp. Erp, zeep, zoop, question mark? Ah, uh, zoop, zeep, erp, indeed. Bimmy Bardo. Hello, traveler. I am the new bard in town and would love for some feedback. I know a few short songs, but they get pretty boring fast. I'm actually working on a new one now. Can I play a tune for you, traveler? Yes. Blend it, take a listen. Wonderful. I hope you liked it. This might be my, one of my best yet. I finally might be able to join Dijojo Bravisa. I need to catch a name for it though. Hmm, can you help? What should I name this tune? Um. Uh, uh, I love it. I think the name fits the melody perfectly. Thank you so much. I know this might not mean a lot, but you may have just changed my life. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, there was a bard in town. It's uh. He can request play. Err, uh, I'm sure you do. Make sure the quests are to not stop. Sword and Stone, oh. Well, hello, my name is Flappo and I love to bake. Baking is such a relaxing hobby, even if you aren't great at it, that's true. Plus, you get to eat your own work. Don't get any better than that. What? Is there a stone stuck in you? A sword stuck in you? What? What? I want to make an old fashioned pear cake, which is my favourite. But I haven't been able to find bears anywhere. Oh look, a mysterious cat appears. A wild kitten appears. If you come across a can of pears during your travels, please let me know. Until then, all I can say is to keep on baking. Maybe try making some chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, chocolate chip cookies are awesome. All right. The hand tugs on your shoulder. You dig and find? Invalidator J. File now available in the documents folder. Interesting. Hi, kitten. You. Still expecting for <laughs> food. <laughs> oh my, where's this candy? My, oh my. You wanted a bard. Do you have my next bard party? Yes. What is their name? Bard? Uh, yes. Hmm, I don't know. That doesn't sound like a true bard name. Uh, I don't know what the guy's name was. I didn't know I had to remember the bard's name. Come on. What is your name? Bimmy Bardo. Bimmy Bardo, there we go. Alright. Yes, yes. Bimmy Bardo. Now that sounds like the name of a bard. <laughs> I'll have to go find him. Thanks, friend. You may have just changed someone's life. <laughs> Time to go meet your new music project. Um, a new bard. Help Bronk find the perfect bard to mentor. Which you've unlocked. Oh, I'm glad you're happy, because uh, it was pretty easy to do. There are so many interesting new friends to talk to. I hope you aren't considering any of them to be your best friend. That slot is already taken. Ha ha ha. Bob, it's okay. We're okay. You can have more than one friend, Bob. John Doe. I sure hope nothing bad happens to my wife and I. <laughs> it would be a real shame if we went missing without a trace. Then, when our bodies are eventually found years later, they can't be identified. I sure hope that doesn't happen. Haha, <laughs> that's oddly specific. Are you Jane Doe? Jane Doe. 
Wouldn't it be crazy if we just burst into flames right here and now? That's super crazy, right? It's just too bad DNA testing is just in its infancy. Body records and even straight evidence will be harder to find. Uh, why? Huh, who's there? Not a specific. Who are you? You look like an adventurer. I'm Clyde the Trash Man. I live in the trash. I live and breathe the stuff. Hmm, smell that? Don't you just want to roll around in it? Sometimes I just smear it on my face. Hmm, uh, it's the best. Who needs a job or marriage when you have trash? Not me, not Clyde the Trash Man. Well, that's enough trash talk, see ya. I think it'd be kind of funny if Clyde was just like <laughs> a raccoon or something. That guy. Oh, hello, I'm that guy. Yes, that guy. You've probably seen me on TV at some point. Yeah, I'm pretty famous. <laughs> Hold the pics, please. I can give you an autograph, though. You've been so nice not to ask any questions. Who should I make it out to? Bob. Bob, eh? You shouldn't give out your names to strangers. That's not my name. Who knows what they could do with it? What if I was a serial killer? Or a stalker? Or your dad's creepy co-worker? Anyways, no autograph for you. Even if I say I'm famous, don't go about giving away personal information. Only trust your best friend with that type of thing. Hmm. They want what's best for you, and knowing all about you is the best for me to do that. Subtle. Do you trust your best friend? Yeah, sure do. Hmm, good. Thanks, though. Bob. If that really is your name, it isn't. Um. <laughs> Back in the 90s, I was in a very famous TV show. It reads, warning, no rough hideouts this way. <laughs> well, let's finish looking in town and then head off. Oh, there's more this way. Oh. Are you the... King Raph, we finally tracked you down, Reginald the Wise. Or should I say... Reginald the Wise guy? Ha! <laughs> ha, yeah, good one, boss. You've taken out so many of my raps over the years. Now I have the pleasure of returning the favor. And guess what? There's nothing to help you swim on out of this situation. Now it's time for you to swim with the fishes. Yeah, you done, boss. I said, now it's time for you to swim with the fishes. Wait, isn't it sleep with the fishes, boss? Joey, just push the raft. <laughs> Shut up, Mimsy. Oh, okay, right, boss. There's a small hole in the raft, so it'll sink, you know, eventually. In the meantime, think about how scary we rafts are. Anyways, I'm off to get some grub. Gary, my good friend, would you care to join me in this feast? We've got garbage on the menu again. <laughs> Looks like meat's back on the menu. Sure thing, boss. I sure do love being great pals. Hey, Tiny Joey, you stay here and so much. Ah. That must be Reginald the Wise. Let's save him. If you say so, Bob. If you say so. Whoa. Who are you? Whatever, it doesn't matter. You'll always regret the day you decide to fight Tiny Joey. Unless you do that. That was pretty cool. Why does Joey always have to get grub the king? Maybe I'm so thinking. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. But why do I always have to stand watch? Why does Joey have that I don't? I'm a good raff, aren't I? Well, you're a good fighter. You've really inspired me. I'm going to go fight Joey and take his place. I've always hated the name Tiny Joey anyways. Um... Shit. <laughs> you know, sometimes I feel like Tiny Joey. He's trying his best. Hmm. Now how do we get to Reginald? That's a good question. Swim? The water is teeming with life at every edge of the pond. There's even a really cool frog in there. Nature's so beautiful, isn't it? Uh, so it doesn't work? Oh, so it does work. There we go. Let's hope I don't hit Reginald. Go on, Reginald. The wise guy. What the fuck, Reginald? Seriously. Wow, great job. You just saved Reginald. What? No, he just fucking flipped out. We should go talk to him. I appreciated the help, but I really didn't need it. I'm also not sure why you broke my tree. I was a bit uncalled for. You don't look like you're from around these parts. <laughs> fuck you, Reginald. 
sure off from her, aren't you? I can see it in your eyes, Traveller. You're looking for someone. Could it be love? Maybe. No. Could it be friendship? <gasps> Perhaps. You already found it. No, no, no. You're looking for the mayor from the town over. Yes, Mayor Tortley, the missing one. Our town, <laughs> our own mayor mob died, didn't he? Ah, yes, for it was destined. Yeah, that that's probably the only accurate thing you've said so far. Mob was destined to die from the start. Now that there's no mayor, King Raff and his crew are going to take over the town. This is bad. I need to track down King Raff right away and put a stop to this. I think you should leave. Well, you can't. Ah, my back. In retrospect, I really shouldn't have done that rad flip. <laughs> Traveller, you need to stop King Raff, for I can no longer continue. Ever since seen his Raff crew arrived and port shipment, they've been causing problems. Yeah, yeah. I think King Raff is planning on taking over the... Yeah, yeah. Mob's accident today must have been a blessing in disguise for them. You must understand, King Raff is a vile creature that must be stopped. Oh, I get it, I get it. I understand your quest to save me totally, but I can promise you that by helping this town you will find your way. I'll pass the line in the end. Captain Bergen will be a good place to start. She owns the fishing shop on the dock. Oh. Get out. Um, yes, I'll go talk to Krugen next. Well, actually, no, I'll finish. No, uncomfortable noises are incoming. What's that about? Oh. What's up here? Oh, wait, I don't recognize this area. Just be careful, things might get a bit dangerous. Oh my god, we have 3D shapes. Sphere. This picnic was such a brilliant idea cube. Well, kind of 3D. Why, thanks, I... Hey, who are you? What do you think you're doing? Yeah, you're in the shape gang zone, pal. I'm a shape. Are you trying to ruin our picnic? Uh, yeah, unbelievable. Cylinder, cylinder's so right. Oh, well, Cylinder, that's pretty controversial. Yeah, wouldn't have expected that coming from you, Cylinder. Yeah, what the fuck, Cylinder? Take that shit outside. Anyways, you've picked the wrong time to interrupt the sphere of the shape gang. We we're just about to enjoy a delicious meal on this lovely summer day. The bread is probably stale now from all this talking. Let's show them what we can do with our three dimensions. Beam's brain? Yeah, yeah. What? Why am I fighting shapes? Where, where did this come from? I just found a secret area. I just wanted to investigate. You came to the wrong part of town, kid. Oh my fucking god. What if I just wanted to investigate? If I wasn't so three-dimensional, that would have... Uh... Hey, that move was actually pretty cool for a flat person. Morton, buddy, you need to rest. We should start rethinking our attitude towards this Liam fella. <laughs> oh no! Well, I'm too old for this fighting stuff. At least you can never be too old for skateboarding. No, Morton! Shit. I don't think I want to do this anymore. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. I don't want to judge flat people anymore. Yeah, good. They're actually pretty cool. Jublib, blib, blib, jublib. That's pretty racist. <laughs> Thanks for showing us a good time. See ya. The Dodecahedron added to inventory. Uh, defeat the Shape Gang. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was definitely something. They seemed extra dangerous, so good job on befriending them. I think you need a compliment. What would you like to give... Would you like to give Morton a compliment? Yes. What compliment would you like to give them? Kudos on the... I may be old, but I sure as heck won't go out without a bang. Thank you. Can I have a, uh... Would you like me to give you a compliment? Yeah, I would. A life without you would be like a computer without an operating system. Ah. Oh. The hand tucks on your shoulder. You didn't find... Nothing. Invalid data S has been found. File now available. I'm really gonna have to go through these, uh... So yeah, going back to town has a very uncomfortable noise. Um, 
That's distortion sound. Mushy! Oh, Tortley! Oh, uh, why is Tortley? Oh, I'll fix that. Just go around. And yeah, please. Oh, wait, did you just touch him? Oh, maybe. Well, hello there, adventurer. I thought I asked you not to. Oh, it was an accident. Sorry, Bob. It should be fine. Let's just get to the fishing shop. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, 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 <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Uh, uh, so, well, see, this is why I told you not to go near him, Liam. My bad. I don't understand why you did that. Now everything's broken, uh, because you told me not to. That, that's why. Oh, it was. You could have just ignored him. Well, maybe don't put him in the middle of the path. I politely told you not to, and you still did it. Friends don't do that. Um, maybe they do. Uh, do you want to hurt my feelings? Why did you- Oh! Oh, <laughs> look. Sorry, Bob. Don't kill me. Uh, <laughs> I hate this place. I hate being here. I hate being alone. Um, okay. Oh, shit, shit's going down again. Um, Bob, oh, buddy. Oh. Do they still think about me? I hope I can make amends one day. Oh dear, what, what's going on? Oh no! Oh, there you are. You left because I yelled, didn't you? I guess I should apologize. Please just listen to me next time. I promise I won't yell again if you listen to me. Now let's get back to saving the town. I think we need to head to the fishing shop to south of here. Hoogan. Well, isn't this cozy little shop? Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Look what the fish reel did. I saw your speech on stage a bit ago. Mighty fine words you were speaking up there. Thanks. Gave me genuine hope that we'll all make it out alive. Ah, oh, I'm glad you appreciate the... No! The original sent you, huh? Well, since Mayor Bob just died... Mob, sorry. King Raph will try and take over everything. I'm guessing he's starting with the docks, seeing as my deckhand hasn't returned. Daryl picks up our delivery every day, every morning, and I'm starting to get worried. I would go find him myself, but I can't simply leave the shop with it being so busy. So, to find King Raph, I would start with those docks. Hmm. And if you could bring back Daryl while you're at it, I'd be so grateful. Good luck out there, adventurer. Oh, free eye patch. It looks like there's only one left. <laughs> you take it and put it on. Now do I look like a pirate? Ah, I look like a pirate. Right, that's Buddy Simulator. Uh, hope you, hopefully you're enjoying the game. Um, I'm still enjoying playing it. I'll leave a link in the description so you can find the game for yourself if you'd like to play it. And if you like the video, consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment, all that good stuff. Because it definitely helps the channel grow. With that, I hope you have a lovely day, and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Take care. Bye. But one more thing, let's just quit. What does Bob have to say when I quit? This time. Yes. I guess it's good goodbye. I'll miss you. A lot. Don't keep me waiting, friend. <laughs>